beer cake and I was making the sugar beer and I wanted to show you guys how to do that. I totally forgot to film an intro, so here I am doing that again. But if you've seen those cakes, it looks like a beer can is pouring beer into a mug. It's a pretty cool technique that I do. And I wanted to show you how I do that. So if you want to see how I make the magic sugar beer, then just keep on watching. So to start, I have a one to one ratio of sugar and water boiling here. So it's one cup of water, one cup of sugar. And I'm gonna bring it to the hard crack stage. Over here I have some Crisco. I have some yellow food coloring to make the candy look like beer. I have a wooden dowel in a styrofoam block. The dowel is sharpened at the end. And I have a little line on here because this part of the dowel is going to go into the cake and I want to know when to make the beer, when to have the sugar stop. So I have to bring the sugar down to this line here. And then I have this mat. I used to just use a cookie sheet that was that had Crisco all over it. So if you don't have one of these mats, you can use a cookie sheet, but I will link it below. And I also have a fan plugged in. This candy gets really hot and you need to work with it while it's hot and get it to cool. So I will show you what I do with this. I forgot to say, you're also gonna need a can of beer. Um, obviously this is all cleaned out. So pour it out, clean the can, and then you can use this. I remove the tab as well because it's easier to get the sugar in the hole once the tab's removed. So a can of beer, whatever can that you're going to use with the tab removed. Okay, so this just got to hard crack stage. It actually turns a little bit of a little bit brown when it gets this hot. So I really don't have to add too much because it's already kind of the color of beer. So I'm just going to add a little of that yellow, mix it around, and then I'm going to pour it onto this mat. There's going to be a lot of bubbles, but this actually works in my favor because there's a lot of bubbles in beer. So you see it has a beer consistency here. So now is the tricky part. We have to let it cool down before we handle it here. So that's why this mat is nice because it doesn't really stick to the mat. Before I had this mat, I used a cookie sheet and I lined it with a bunch of Crisco and I would just take a spatula, a rubber spatula and just keep turning it so it didn't stick to it. So you just got to give this a minute or two for it to cool down so you can handle it because it's still 300 something degrees so it's really hot. Start to use the spatula here. I'm going to turn the fan on. It may make it a little loud in the background, but I need to start to cool this off. Still really hot. I have this dowel here and I'm going to start to wrap it around the dowel, form it into sugar, like it, so it's going to look like beer pouring. So it's going to kind of twist and turn coming down. And the trick is this top part, you have to make a little tail that's going to fit in the soda can. So now that I have it on here, it's really hot and it's still 
moving around as I, if I just let it hang here, it's gonna droop. So I have to keep maneuvering it and turning it so it doesn't all fall into one place. So I'm turning it around, I'm pinching it with my fingers, trying to make sure that this piece will stick in here. So I need to make that a little longer so it sticks in the beer can, the beer can doesn't fall off of it. And you just wanna keep making it look like it's beer pouring out of a can, turning it in. turning it upside down because it kept sliding down the dowel. And then keep checking in, making sure it'll still fit in here, which is good. I have it in front of the fan, so it's cooling. I can still pinch it and maneuver it into a shape. It's starting to cool down. solid so it's not going to move anymore nice it's still a little warm but now it's not moving anymore it's solid so i can take this and put it in the block and i can just let that sit there until i'm ready to use it and now you got your sugar beer pouring out of the can so there you go there's a pretty cool technique that you can use on your beer cakes um, the beer does get a little sticky depending on the humidity. I usually keep that beer just in the styrofoam block until I'm ready to put it on the cake. Now you can flavor that sugar with, if you have candy flavoring, I don't. And I don't really see anyone like taking that huge thing and like licking it, but you know, kids might want to do that. So if you want to add flavoring, you can. And I don't have to make this too far in advance because it hardens right away. So you can use it. Uh, right after you make it. You just have to make sure that it cools down enough that it's hard and not pliable anymore. So I think that's it for now. If you have any questions, just leave them below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. And like always, feel free to like this video if you liked it and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And you can follow me on social media and I have my website. I will link all of that below. And I think that's it for now. I will see you on the next one. Bye.